You know, everybody has those go-to guys and whatever subject it is within life that they are pursuing. You know, I used to uh, love to, to, to restore classic cars and I was in the Mustangs and I used to work on them and uh, I enjoyed it. But there's always those go-to guys or those go-to sites that you can go to and there'd be experts on there. You run into a problem, you say, you know, you go to that person and they're, uh, they have an understanding of it. They know these cars inside and out. They know every intricate detail about them and so they... Uh, they're the ones to talk to. They have an understanding. And so if you have computer problems, you know that computer guy. If you know, if you're having problems with any particular area within your life, you know who that individual is. And it can even be in a negative sense. Somebody who's gone through addiction before is the greatest person to go and talk to about addiction, especially if that individual is a Christian and has been delivered by the power of God. They're, they're the greatest uh, one ones to share with other people say, hey, this is what God has done in my life. I understand. I know the power of addiction and I know what God has done to get me out of addiction. And so therefore I have that understanding to be able to share with you what you need to do to get out of addiction as well. And so, you know, those, those specialists in those particular fields. Now, this week we've been talking about having an understanding of God's word, knowing God's word and every single Christian needs to understand God's word. Every single Christian needs to know God's word. They need to have God's word hidden uh, within their heart. And you know what? When we begin to look at that and begin to understand that, I talked earlier in the week, I think uh, both Monday and Tuesday, I talked about hiding God's word in our heart that we might not sin against God. It is very important to memorize God's word. People in uh, country where the word of God is not allowed. You know what they do? They memorize God's word. When when, when, when communism came into countries like Romania, uh, you know, after World War II, they, well, what they would do when they knew the Bibles were getting confiscated, what they would do is they would memorize God's word. And so they would have God's word hidden within their heart. And so other people that didn't have a copy of God's word, that they, they, they were totally dependent upon them and they'd be able to share the word of God with them. And so when we think about that and we, and we understand that that they, that, that, that they are the go-to people when it comes to the word of God, every single Christian needs to be the go-to people when it comes to the word of God. The Bible says right here in verse 21, it says the wise in heart will be called understanding. The wise in heart will be called understanding. And friends, there is no excuse. If you're a Christian, if you're a child of God, there is no excuse for you not to be wise in the word of God. I hear too many Christians saying, and, and I mean, they've been a Christian a long time. I hear too many Christians saying, well, I don't know the Bible that well. Why don't you know the Bible that well? Do you not own a Bible? We'll give you a Bible. The Bibles are in abundance. Do you know a Gideon? A Gideon to give you a Bible. You can find a Bible. If you have a cell phone, you can download a Bible on your cell phone. If you can't read, it'll read it to you. Listen, we have absolutely no excuse for not knowing the Word of God. Get plugged into a church and have a, a Bible study teacher, Sunday school teacher, teach you the Word Word of God. Have a pastor proclaim the truth of God's word to you and spend intimate quality time yourself within the word of God to where we could have the wisdom of God's word within ourselves. That way, when the rest of the world is hungry and they're seeking for truth because the rest of the world, they know something's wrong. They know society is all messed up. It's turned completely upside down. They know something's wrong. They just don't know what. But we know what. We know what the problem is. And now is prime time, friends, for us to start sharing it. But if we don't have the wisdom of God's word within our heart and the understanding of God's word, within our heart, then friends, how are we going to share it? You have no excuse. You have no excuse. It's laziness 
is what it boils down to. It's a lack of concern. It's a lack of care. Friend, you need to repent of that. You need to get into the word of God for yourself. And you need to get into the word of God where you can share it with a world that is literally starving to death. The wise in heart will be called understanding. Be that go-to guy. Be that go-to girl. 